So I don't know why they didn't add that to the program, but you can see that the shading is looking better in viewport shading, but that's because it's using HDR compared to the EV one, which just doesn't look good. So I don't know why they couldn't just add that as a simple function, but maybe I don't know, time. So what we'll do, we'll go to rural, we'll go here, we'll delete that. <coughs> we'll add uh, texture, environment texture. So drag that in like that. It's pink because it doesn't have an image. I'll go to this location. That's where those HDR images are placed. So go for forest, for example, open that. And now we have something that is not too far off. Um, if you have Node Wrangler installed uh, or activated rather, uh, and you should, then you can press Control T, uh, activating this and press, pressing Control T, and then you can, uh, for example, take the rotation, rotate it like that, or whatever. It's just something that you should use actually, but. You can see that it's not blurred, so I'm just going to quickly steal uh, an idea from another guy. Well, I'll link his video because I'm not going to do it correctly. I'm just going to show you that you can actually... So I'm stealing this from this guy, uh, and I'll link the video to his video. Uh, his video because it, he talks about more in depth. Um, so yeah, we'll go back to object and what we'll do is we'll say new and we're not going to have this one. We're going to have um, shader, glass, and we'll drag that in here. And roughness, so we'll just put in some really high value. You can see now that now it looks much more like what we had. I guess I could also go back here and rotate this slightly. But yeah, um, that's down close.